So now we're on step nine, which means basically we're going to assemble. We're going to assemble this axis onto the machine. But first, we're going to go ahead and move everything out of the way. Let's see. I don't want to get any wires. Be very careful here. I'm going to turn it sideways. That shows in the picture and in instructions. So the extruder I know is going to face this way. The wires are going to be to the back. And they're saying we need some more parts. So it looks like the filament holder, which is this piece. That's cool, whatever. I'll get that in a second. That's for the next part. So I like it when I see people that put stuff do not tight too tight. Do not tighten too tight or do not tighten it too tight on pictures because it lets you know exactly that. Too many times have I done things or have I put something together and you put it all tight just to find out later you need to loosen it and go back and waste time because the instructor instructions or the manufacturer didn't tell you. Just leave it loose for now so you get everything right. So we're going to have to mount this onto the Z axis. And the way we're going to do that is line up the aluminum extrusions inside the rollers here. So these aluminum extrusions are going to fit here and the same in the front. And I'll slide this back so we can see what we're doing. So basically, we're going to make sure this whole piece fits on top of here and slides down while it fits onto the Z-Rod. That's what's going to make this machine go up and down, of course. So let's get that, get that. And what we're going to do is make sure that I have this put together right because oops oh wait I had it right make sure you don't do what I did I almost actually put it together kind of crooked which would not have been good so the z-rod now is going to fit right here so as you can see this roller is over here on that side and on this side is kind of how it fits down and the z-rod is actually going to fit through this piece and let's see if it'll kind of go in there all right make sure everything is not Nothing's catching, nothing's lined up or binding when you're doing stuff like this. And I may actually have to loosen that Z because it looks like I have something a little bit off. So let's see. So up here. So the instructions are telling us by the extruder, which is this nut that's by the extruder plug, which is for the Z. It's a Z-nut to catch this rod. It needs to be loosened a little bit. So I'm going to loosen it just a little bit because I'm having a little bit of an issue lining it up. Let's see. There we go. Just a little bit. And I'm just going to put this back. I am not over tightening this at all. What I'm doing here is tightening these bolts just, I mean barely. I don't want to make it go too much because what's going to happen is you're going to have this thing binding all crazy. So I want to make sure this part over here is lined up properly also while this goes down. And if you're having an issue like this, you see where this was actually binding, then something wasn't right. So make sure you line it up properly because when this goes up and down, it's really important for your Z. This is where you're going to get a lot of your Z-axis precision. If this is crooked or binding, your prints are going to come out pretty junky. It's always good when you're building a machine to make sure that while you're building it, everything is square, everything is right. And, you know, if you need to at this time to adjust some screws adjust some bolts go ahead and do that so this is on there pretty good we're going to move to the next step 